But Washington's army soon faces an enemy far more lethal than the British. Smallpox. The revolution breaks out during the worst smallpox epidemic in US history. The deadly airborne virus spreads through the British prison ships. Isolated from the disease for generations, the American colonists have little resistance to it, and there's no cure. Victims break out in blisters and sores. The virus spreads through the blood, invading healthy cells which it kills, producing more of the virus in the process. Four in 10 victims die. Once smallpox arrives at Valley Forge, it spreads through the cramped huts like wildfire. Washington survived smallpox as a child. Now he decides to take a gamble with one of the most daring experiments in US military history. Surgeons have learned about inoculation from African slaves. They harvest pus from a smallpox victim. And smear the live virus into cuts on the skin of a healthy patient. The inoculation spreads the infection, but at a slower rate. A week after exposure, the victim's white blood cells create antibodies. These attack and kill the virus that causes smallpox before the disease can spread. But it's a dangerous race against time. To survive, the patient's immune system has to work faster than the virus or will run out of control. One in 50 of those inoculated will die. But Washington's gamble pays off. New cases of smallpox fall from several thousand to just a few dozen.